Young Lauren Juma had plenty to look forward to in life. The 16-year-old native of Humble, Texas had just joined the Nimitz High School cheering squad. She also wanted to join the Air Force like her older sister or become a police officer after graduating high school. Sadly, Lauren Juma's promising life would be cut short and she would never get the chance to live out her dreams. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for more stories. A young lady contacted 911 at 1 a.m. on April 29, 2022, to report that the boyfriend of her mother was holding her 16-year-old sister at gunpoint inside their house. This was the sister of Lauren Juma. Lauren reached out to her mother when she was out of town for business, pleading for her to rescue her. When the responding deputies walked up to the front door, they could hear gunfire. Van Henry Brisbane, the mother's boyfriend, stepped outside the home through the front door and was apprehended, but was not cooperative with investigators. Lauren was discovered inside, shot to death. The only two people inside the residence at the time of the murder were Lauren and Brisbane at this moment, a motive for the murder is unclear. On a breaking news this morning, a shooting at a home in a subdivision in the Humble area. Police found a teenage girl shot dead overnight. This all happened just north off of FM 1960 near Bush Airport. Ugochi Iloka was the first reporter live on the scene. She is back now with a lot of new information. Ugochi, what's the latest? Kimberly and Steph, such a tough situation here. Investigators say that the man who allegedly shot and killed the 16-year-old said something very chilling. They tell us that after he allegedly shot and killed her, he walked outside and he said, do what you have to. Obviously, such a bold statement here. I'm going to move this way. That's new information just coming in. You can see investigators still here trying to figure out what happened, uh, questioning folks here. Now, the Harris County Precinct 4 constables got a 911 call from someone saying her sister was being held against her will by their mom's boyfriend at gunpoint. Deputies pulled up to the house here on Canton Trace just after 1 a.m. and say they heard one gunshot from inside the house, then screaming. Investigators tell us another gunshot was heard after that, and then a 60-year-old man came out with his hands up. They went inside the home, and deputies say they found a teen girl dead with multiple gunshot wounds. We do know that the mother was out of town uh, and uh, she she has since returned. She immediately uh, came back. We do have information that she had been on the phone with the 16-year-old the prior to her murder. Can you imagine, right? And family is actually out here still. They're camped out. There are lawn chairs here with several family members, including the mother, uh, who I spoke to briefly very emotional, in tears, too emotional to talk to me. As you can imagine, our hearts go out to her. Authorities do say they do have that boyfriend of hers in custody right now, but he is not cooperating. They're working to get a search warrant for the house. Dave, the big question is why? We're working to find that out. Back to you. At Brisbane's first court appearance on Monday morning, the judge and other attendees reportedly heard upsetting details of Lauren Juma's last moments. It was reported that investigators requested that Lauren submit to a sexual assault exam. Detectives think she was raped before being murdered based on evidence discovered at the scene. Deputies discovered Lauren with her pants down to her knees and suffering from several gunshot wounds. It was reported that Brisbane's pants were also down when officers took him into custody. I just know my baby called me on the phone, FaceTime me. And she said, Mom, help me. And by that time, he hung her phone up. And that's the last time I heard a voice. Lauren called her mom because Van Brisbane entered her room and was standing there in the dark. She wanted her mom to tell him to leave her room, which she did. Lauren then screamed, Mom, he has a gun. And then the call ended. And I was there for about three minutes before I heard two gunshots go off. <laughs> And I could just remember running up to the house and the officers telling me to go back to my car. The judge increased Brisbane's bail from the $1 million bond that a probable cause court judge set for him over the weekend following his arrest at $2 million. 
Ban Brisbane's niece was present at his bond hearing and was visibly upset. I love my uncle to death. I swear I do, but I will never be able to understand how he did something like this to Lauren. People have to be accountable for their actions. If we don't hold people accountable for the things that they do wrong, then people will continue to do wrong. His niece had this shirt made that says here for Lauren, and she doesn't know how this could have happened. How he could take her life from her, I can never understand it. Just a very emotional hearing, as you can imagine. Now, the judge did ask prosecutors to rush the forensic evidence to see if Lauren was sexually assaulted. And if she was, there could be potentially some changes in the charges and he could be charged with capital murder. But again, this will all be up to the Harris County District Attorney's Office to see if they can even prove this. Now, by the way, we did contact the Harris County Sheriff's Office and they told me that when he was arrested on Friday, he did show signs of intoxication. Reporting live in the Harris County Courthouse. Anayeli Ruiz, KHOU 11 News. Family and friends of Lauren are grieving the passing of the cheerful teen as police continue their investigation. Lauren Juma's father, Sajid Juma, said that his daughter was, was a very wonderful loving caring person. He said she loved everybody and everybody loved her. Lauren's mother was in a five-year relationship with Brisbane and is horrified that he could be responsible for her daughter's death. He treated Lauren like she was his baby, Young said. I don't understand. He can rot in jail. He had no reason to take my baby's life. This was a senseless crime that has affected so many lives. 16-year-old Lauren Juma should have been safe in her own home. My condolences to her friends and family and to all those affected by her passing. May you find peace and continue to heal. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.